So ethically, it should be everybody's responsibility to ensure that TEFL tourism operates sustainably and it is meeting the intended outcomes and it is satisfactory for the community. Ultimately, it should be there for the community um, and you know, teaching English as a foreign language, the ultimate aim generally is and should be to improve English capabilities amongst the, the local community. However, the industry has changed a lot. Um, we've now got these profit-driven organisations who are offering these TEFL-type packages whose motivations are not necessarily um, to meet the community's needs, but instead to make money for themselves. So, you know, they are definitely um, an area that I think needs to be investigated and there should be some kind of regulation. They have a moral and an ethical responsibility um, to create tourism that benefits the local community. However, I suspect that this frequently is not the case, as we've seen in my, many other areas of tourism. Um, there's also an argument to say that the government should crack down and should really monitor it. However, many governments um, have lots to do. They might not have very big budgets. Um, that they might not see that as a priority. Um, so th it is difficult to measure. Um, you know, measuring the learning outcomes and comparing the difference between having a tourist doing that and having somebody else doing that isn't necessarily an easy task. Um, it does require resources, it does require investment in time and money, and many, area, many destinations won't have that.